I'm going to log into the self service module using a smart card. And you will see in the video that I'm showing the smart card to you. The smart card I'm going to insert in the smart card reader attached to my computer. That smart card is my PIB credential. And you will see the reader will start immediately reading the certificates of the smart card. The light is blinking. And once that light stops blinking, the reader has already read the certificates and information required from the PIB credentials. And then I can log in using the smart card option. There may be more than one smart card or certificate set already on my computer or the reader. And I may be able to select those options. And once selected, I can enter the pin, press OK. And then I am at the menu for self-service module where I can select the option for YubiKey derived credentials. Once I select that option, it will prompt me to set the name of the credential that I'm about to derive from my smart card. Press OK. And it asks me a couple of questions about do I allow Java, etc. because I've selected the Java option. And once I say yes, everything is good, moving forward, it will start actually encoding the derived credentials which are being derived from the smart card that I already put in and encoding them onto the YubiKey. And as the process will take some time, because the encoding, the keys have to be um, encoded and put on the YubiKey. So it'll take a few minutes to do that. And once it's done, you will be told what the pin is. That pin is automatically generated for the end user. The option that we just saw was using a Java applet from IE 11 browser. Now let's take a look at ESP client, that is a hard client on the computer, how that can be used to do the same thing. I'm going to type in the name of the credential, and this time I'll choose something which is relevant to um, being the YubiKey uh, with the ESP. And the same question again, I'll select the second option saying I'm going to use ESP client, press next, and once I launch that link, which is a timed link, it'll say, do you want to run that? You will accept that as an end user to run it. And once you start running it, you will be prompted to select the key that you want to encode, which is YubiKey in this case. It is attached already to your USB port. And at that point in time, you press OK again after selecting the YubiKey because that is the one that you want to derive the credentials onto and encode. Once you press OK, it will start the encoding process through ESP client, that is interest client. It will again um, take some time. And once the key change and encoding and everything has happened onto the card, it will again give you back the pin that you're supposed to have.